Welcome to the University of Illinois Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition, where today we're taking a closer look at freezing. This is not actually magic, but simply super cooled water. Want to know how this works? Well, let's start by taking a look at the conditions needed to form ice. As you probably already know, water turns to ice. As you can see, we've got some of those here today. The best way to understand how temperature plays an effect in freezing is to look at the molecular structure of water. And look, we have a glass of water right here. And as most people know, you can just take a glass of water and pour it out. So water is a molecule made up of two different types of atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Now, in its liquid state, water is free to flow around the molecules can move over each other, or under each other, around each other. It's just kind of a random mess. But once the temperatures start to decrease, the molecules start to get an ordered arrangement as they slow down and then move into place next to each other. And what happens is you get a structure start that begins to form as the ice crystallizes. Now, it's going to take a while to, to, to get a good idea of what this looks like, so you'll just have to bear with me. As you can see from this model, a single water molecule in ice is connected to four other molecules. The connections that they form lock them together in a solid structure. Now temperature is not the only thing that's needed for water to freeze. Before you can get a nice solid structure like this forming, you have to have something for the water to grab hold of. And in ice crystallization, these points are called nucleation points. And they can be likened to an ice cream truck on a hot summer's day. When the ice cream truck rolls into the area and the music starts playing, all the kids come out and line up to get their frozen treats. And they form a nice ordered arrangement in their line so that they can get up and get their treats. And water molecules act in a very similar way. Um, a nucleation point is an impurity in the water. This could be something like other molecules, a salt, um, or a scratch on the glass in the container, and the water molecules will then orient themselves using that as a holding point so that they can then form their nice crystal structure from there. So, what does this have to do with our magic trick? Well, if water has a nucleation point, once the temperature gets down to zero, the water begins freezing. But, if it doesn't have this nucleation point, you can begin to cool the water below its freezing point. This is called supercooling. Now, once it finds a nucleation point and the water can start to get organized, ice will begin to form instantly, causing our supercool magic trick. To supercool your own water, all you need to do is take away the nucleation points. And you can do that by getting rid of the impurities. So, if you use very pure water and cool it to below its freezing point, you can make super cooled water. Other important things to remember is to use a scratch-free container, like a water bottle, and to be very gentle as you move your super cooled water around. Enjoy! I bet mine will freeze first. Ta-da!